In today's Minecraft modded video, I'm gonna be looking at inventory pets. That's right, these are pets that you can hold in your inventory that give you neat little abilities all at the cost of some of your materials. Say we get an ocelot pet in our inventory. Not only are they gonna need to eat some cod, they're also going to help scare away creepers like ocelots do in Minecraft. This is a really fun mod. I'm hoping you enjoy this video. If you're excited, make sure you leave a like on it for me. Now let's go ahead and check out the pet shop shall we i mean look at this village this village is looking very nice and i think right in front of us we have ourselves <gasps> a creeper hey creeper how's it going oh no oh no not a creeper already oh wait i had a cat a cat would help scare off this creeper right here he's hiding under the stairs oh no 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 and that's right at the pet shop too you creepy creep i'm gonna go ahead and walk in <laughs> Hopefully that creeper doesn't actually know that I'm in this building. But now that we're in the pet shop, let's go ahead and check out what pets they have to offer for us. Wait a minute, what? A chest pet? This is a pet? This doesn't look like a pet, this looks like a chest. It looks like a little chest in my hand. Whoa, look, he's got a little face and he blinks too. <gasps> Oh my god, he's a chest. He gets used like a chest. That's really cool. And it looks like his favorite food is planks. Well, let's go ahead and grab these planks here. I think he wants to enjoy some of his food. Let's see what is in this chest pet that we have already. It looks like one of the pets is a chicken pet, which gives us a speed boost. Eggs. Wait, what? We can get eggs? Oh my goodness, this pet is so fast. We go ahead and open this door. I can run around quickly. Oh, and try and evade this creeper. Hey, creep, what are you doing down? <gasps> oh, I'm so lucky I'm able to run that fast. Oh, mutton. What? I don't need this. Let's go ahead and place this lock down. I don't need that. Here, creeper, eat some mutton. I'm gonna go ahead and show off the speed of my chicken pet here. This is really neat. I can run around super fast all across this entire plane, just seeing everything from the speed of a chicken. And not only that, apparently our chicken likes to give us eggs. We can get eggs from the chicken. How do we do that? We shift click, right? Chicken is now giving items. How do you give items, chicken? Do you need something? Do you need something to eat? It looks like the chicken likes to eat wheats seeds. So let's go ahead, pick up some wheat seeds. If I can't find any on the ground here, ooh, like I just did, I can actually get some out from my feed bag. I've got a lot of seeds to offer this chicken. Oh, no, not my, my seed bag, my feed bag. I need that. Now, is this chicken gonna eat any of these seeds for eggs? That's what's supposed to happen, right? He's supposed to give eggs eventually? <laughs> Come on, chicken. How am I supposed to get eggs from this chicken? I have all the seeds. Does he want seeds? Do you want seeds? It looks like this chicken wants seeds. Here you go, you get a seed. While I wait for this chicken to hatch an egg or lay one, let's go ahead and see what other pet we have in our chest pet. A sheep pet, which gives us wool and slow fall. Oh, that's really nice. Let's go ahead and get our feed bag open. Let's grab some wheat. Let's make sure he's ready to give off some sheepy wool. And let's see what the slow fall is all about. I mean, we gotta find a place that we can jump off of to check out the slow falling here. Like this. Hey, I wanna take in damage from like a four block jump, right? Like falling from four blocks. Let's try from the top of this mountain down to the trees. I think that will be a clear indicator that we are going Going to take some fall damage. Hey! hey! Well, that was really slow. It seems like the sheep does give us a slow fall. It's really useful. How do I get them to eat those the seeds? They're not eating any of the seeds or the wheat. I wanted to get some of those cool treats from them. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and move these two up in my inventory to make space for our next pet. The pig gives us bonus hunger saturation. We can eat poison foods and gives pork chops for care. All right, let's get some of our carrots out. Let's go ahead and, oh, hey, creeper. What's going on? We got some bonus saturation, so we should have no problem with our hunger now. If only I had something to fight this creeper with. Yeah, creeper, 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 creeper. Might be something at the blacksmith. So let's go ahead, let's enter the blacksmith. 
Let's see what's happening in here. <gasps> oh, there's so many more pets for me to look at. I haven't even gone through the first chest of pets and I found a whole bunch more. Hold on, hold on. Let's look at the chest pet again. Let's see, cow removes negative effects and fills empty buckets with milk. I don't have any milk buckets. Well, let's go ahead and get our cow pet out too. Squid pet, water breathing, underwater vision, swim boost, and sink down. Okay, that's good. I actually kind of like that. A wolf pet, which summons a wolf. I want that. I want that absolutely. Ocelot pet which scares away creepers for cooked cod. Aha! So if I go ahead, get some cooked cod out, and I think I need to get this organized to where I have the wolf wants bones and the squid wants raw cod. There we go, I think that'll work. Now if I go out here and I get towards this creeper again, where's that creeper friend? Are we scaring all the creepers away with our ocelot? It looks like it. There's looks like there's no creeper around because we have an ocelot pet to keep them hidden to keep them down now what is it that this squid does for us underwater breathing and water vision plus a swim boost well we don't have a lot of water around here but we do have a little fountain area that we could just like get into whoa can i sink it takes me forever to sink down whoa and we do have a swim boost oh man i'm swimming so fast in here oh man <laughs> I can't even show off the swim speed I have. Ah, my head is just in the ground. But I'm able to hold my breath for quite some time by the looks of it. Whoa, whoa. Did you see that jump, boy? That was crazy. I think we accidentally glitched that. <laughs> Let's get back to checking out more of our pets here. If we already have saturation. Wait, what? Do we have saturation? How do I get the saturation from the pig? If I have the pig in my inventory, I should be able to. Looks like one of the dogs ate the bone, but the pig not eating my carrots. I thought they were gonna be my pet and give me hunger and saturation, but no, I'm still in need of making my own food. Well, I'm gonna eat some carrots. Mmm, I like eating carrots. Only that pig liked eating carrots too. Let's go ahead and let's show off another pet that we have in our chest of pets. We got a mushroom pet, a mushroom pet, which gives us bone meal effect. Okay. And a cloud pet. All right. We gotta make sure we get their feet out, red mushrooms and quartz. Now, what does this mushroom do? Whoa! He bone meals everything. That's actually kind of cool. I don't have to use bone meal anymore. I could just use a mushroom pet. <gasps> and since we're at the village, I can use my super jump that I get from this cloud. What? Fast flight, float down. What's fast flight? Do I- <gasps> I have the ability to fly in survival mode? Yo, this is cool. And I have the ability to get these crops to grow faster using my mushroom. This is a really cool pet. Now I can get all of these crops to grow and fly around this entire village. Look at this. All from the sake of my pet. <gasps> Don't tell me my pet can shoot lightning. The cloud pet is able to strike lightning all with the right click. What? Wait a minute. So if I look at this pig and I strike him with lightning, I can make a zombie pig man. Hello, zombie pig man. How's it going? Oh, oh no. Oh no. I accidentally started burning the tree with lightning. Oh gosh. Wait, get them dog. Get the cow. Get the cow. Cook his beef. Cook his beef. <gasps> no, dog. Dog, get in the water. Get in the water. Oh no, I can recall him and then put a new dog down. There we go. They got Waggy, who's there to save the day. Man, oh man, this is some dangerous mods here. Ow! Let's see what else we have in our pet chest here. A saddle pet. Whoa, a saddle pet? Well, hold on. We gotta try and put this fire out before it spreads everywhere. Uh, oh man. Oh jeez. If only I had a water pet. Ow, ow. That would have helped out a lot. All right. I think we controlled most of the fire here. Good. Now I can go ahead and figure out what saddle pet likes. Saddle pet's favorite food is iron nuggets. And I can right click a mob to ride. <gasps> Including my dog. Really? I'm riding around with my dog now. This is so cool. I can almost, I could choose any mob to ride, including a pig man. <laughs> Look at this. I'm riding a zombie pig man. Oh, I'm like sitting on top of his head. I'm just running around this entire village. Whoa, that's insane. I'm seeing that there's another saddle for us to use here. So I'm gonna go ahead and trade saddle pet for flying saddle pet absolutely of course that sounds amazing and we also have a crafting table pet a furnace pet 
It uses coal nuggets. Weird. Torch pets. What? It's going to plant torches. Bunch of these nuggets here. Like diamond nuggets. That's good. Iron golem pet. What? Hard pet. An enchanting table pet. I could kind of get the gist of what the enchanting table pet's gonna do. Cause just like this, just like this crafting table pet, if I go ahead and just right click, I can craft at any point, anything, anywhere. Oh, this is so cool. I can craft myself some sticks, make myself a pickaxe. There we go. All at the expense of him eating some of the wood in my inventory. Went down to 59. I can even hear him eat. He's every time. That's so cool. Then we also have furnace pet. Wait, furnace pet? Furnace pet, what did you eat there? Furnace pet, you're not supposed to eat my pickaxe. Smelt first I smeltable item in hot bar. Oh, it smelts the item in my hot bar. Oh, I just broke my pickaxe. All right, let's make a new pickaxe. Let's go ahead and make one using the iron we have here. Make sure it's not the first thing in my inventory. It smelted my ax again. Come on, furnace pet. I gotta show off how the cool things you can furnace. If I just pick up this piece of iron, if I get the smelty furnace here, my furnace pet, and if I right click, we actually smelt a piece of iron. I believe so anyhow. Come on, let's grab another piece. We got 56 pieces of iron. Let's use furnace pet. Now we have 57. It works just like that. Furnace pet is so good. Well, I believe places down torches or sets fire. What? Oh, <gasps> it's a flint and steel as well as a torch. We can place down torches all for the sake of our coal. Oh, and iron. And then we can light creepers on fire. Oh boy. No, are you okay, Waggy? You're all right. Don't worry, everything's fine. All we did was take out a, an annoying creeper. And we found ourselves a little lantern down here. What's down in this cave system? Oh. Check this out, Waggy. Look at this. We actually found a chest down here. I wonder what this double chest is gonna have inside of it. Let's oh, go ahead and let's open it up, shall we? <gasps> oh man, look at this. There's so many pets. Like there's uh, so many to count. Oh my God. How do we look at all of these pets in one video? We got creeper pets. We got spider pets, silverfish pets, which allow us to walk through walls. Do a bunch of my flying up here. Let's see if we can use the silverfish to walk into this room without using the door. Did that work? Doesn't look like it's working. Not as much as it, it should anyhow. <sighs> I'm not able to get through this wall. The silverfish is not doing it. Why? Why? He's just eating a bunch of cobblestone. The jerk. Yeah. Oh, well that worked. I was able to just right click through the door. But I'm not really walking through walls here. This this silverfish is stupid. What are some of the other pets we can choose from here? I haven't actually seen them all. Enderman pet, magma cube pet, the creeper pet, which allows me to explode and have immune immune to explosions. That's really nice. Quantum crystal monster pet, which allows me to summon minions. I want to try that. I want to try that, of course. Let's get rid of some of these blocks here. Full of my inventory. Actually, let's use my handy chest pet to go ahead and fill in with all of these useless blocks. There we go. What are some of these other pets we would want? Oh, a soul, a wither pet, which deals wither damage and allows damage to heal me. That's in insane. Teleport, another teleport pet, which teleports me to the nether. Oh uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take that. I wanna see what that's gonna be like. And what does this creeper pet do? If I just go ahead and right click. I can explode blocks on command and be immune to explosions. Hey, sheep. <laughs> Goodbye, sheep. <laughs> That's really useful. That and the Enderman pet, which allows me to teleport. I can teleport. That's so cool. Oh, wait, what's going on? What's going on, Ender Pig? You want to help? You want to help going back to the nether? Let's go ahead and use the nether portal pet. Oh. To transfer to the nether. Oh man, look at that. We actually spawned right into the nether. Oh, right by a ghast. Oh no, how do I fight a ghast here? Well, maybe with my explosions right in front of their face. <laughs> Take that. Oh, and now all the pigmen are mad at me. Well, I'm sorry, pigmens. I didn't mean to explode the nether like this. But it's actually very handy to have this creeper. You trying to hang out by my feet? 
Well, I'm gonna let all your friends kind of group up around me. Here we go. Get more pigments. More of you. <laughs> I am standing above pigmen. Let's let them line up real quick. Oh, wow. This is a whole crowd of piggies. And let's go ahead and explode. <laughs> Take that, you pigs. We got a whole bunch of experience. That and a few bits of gold. That's useful. And if we use our teleport pet again, we can actually teleport back to the world in just a click of the button wow that's very useful these are some really interesting pets oh, i am a bit low on hearts so let me go ahead and get my heart friend here give him a good old pat and there we go we're regening our health back to full man these pets are insane wow there are so many inventory pets in this mod i was just having a field day looking at all of them all the interesting abilities that they had to offer, especially that cloud pet. Hey, the ability to fly in the saddle pet that lets me ride any mob in the game, it's so crazy. I had a lot of fun checking out this mod. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it for me. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know which inventory pet happened to be your favorite. And if you made it this far into the video, be sure to click on that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you can be here for when videos show up, like when this one shows up on the screen. You wanna be the first one to click on this video and start watching it right now. Otherwise, you're not gonna have another video to watch after this one ends. That's right, you have to watch this one on the screen. Otherwise, you won't be able to watch another video again until your inventory pet lets you, which you can get one by clicking on this video.